<laughs> All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is volume of spheres. This should be a fast uh, lesson. So a sphere is like a basketball, a ball, you know, so or a soccer ball or baseball. That's a sphere. Okay, so how do we uh, use the formulas for the volume of a sphere to calculate volumes of uh, composite figures? And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at that groovy website right there. This is Integrated Math 2. Okay, so uh, volume of spheres. Okay, so the volume of sphere that has radius r, so I don't know if you can see that little r right there, but this radius right here is r, so is this radius, so is this radius, so is this radius. The radius is uh, whatever r is, but there's our formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed, okay? So a spherical water tank has a diameter of 27, so what's the radius? The radius is half of that, so 13 and a half, I think, so find the volume. And then uh, we'll answer number two after we find the volume, okay? So 4 thirds pi r cubed, okay? So 13.5 uh, cubed and then 4 thirds. So 13.5 cubed is that number, 2,460.375. And then times 4 divided by 3. And then times pi, anyways, and I get about uh, uh, 10,305. Uh, 0.9947 meters cubed. Okay, so find the capacity of the, whoops, I just, I didn't catch that right there, of the uh, tank to the nearest liter. Okay, all right, so to the nearest liter, so we want liters in our answer. We don't want millimeters uh, in our answer. So we, we need to put um, uh, this on the bottom so it cancels out with that meters right there. So 1,000 liters over 1 meter cubed, okay? So that's what we're going to do is multiply that right there, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and then those will cancel nicely right there. So we're just going to, so when you multiply by 1,000, that just moves that decimal over three places to the right right there. And we move that over three places to the right, we get uh, that as our awesome answer right there, okay? All right, so find the volume of this composite figure. So here we have a, what's called a half of a sphere. It's called a hemisphere. Okay, a hemisphere plus the cone right there to find the volume. So, so <clears throat> four thirds pi r cubed is the volume of the whole sphere. So half of that is one half of that. And then the cone from the last lesson is one third pi r squared. Okay, so so uh, our radius is five, and then pi r squared h. Sorry about that. So what we need to do is figure out h right there. So five blank thirteen. Do you remember the p triple that goes with five and thirteen? It's twelve. Okay, you can do the Pythagorean theorem: five squared plus blank squared equals thirteen squared. You'll get twelve. Anyway, so um, uh, put that in, and we uh, add them together, and we get. Um, about 550 pi thirds centimeters cubed or about 575.96 uh, centimeters cubed okay all right so here we have a, a a cylinder with a hemispherical hole in the top okay so have you seen those kind of uh, instruments those drum instruments um anyways uh, uh anyways we're going to take out this hemisphere hole right there so so it's going to be the cylinder minus the hemisphere right here okay and it says the hemisphere is tangent to the base so so it just means they have the same height right there find the volume round to the nearest tenth so we'll go ahead and do that so it's going to be the cylinder minus the hemisphere and the radius is 3.5 it's half of that seven right there Okay, so uh, pi r squared h minus, and then the hemisphere is one half of four thirds pi r cubed. So when we plug that in, where r is uh, and h is 3.5, because the height is the same as the radius right there. <clears throat> and then, uh, so if we crank that out, we get about, uh, what do we get? About 44.9 inches cubed right there, okay? All right, you guys, if you are sitting in my class, you're going to be doing that. Take care.